Hello everyone. My name is Marcela Aya and I would like to thank you for logging in today's Secondary Languages Adobe Connect session. Please be aware today's session is being recorded, including the comments in the chat pod. If you haven't already, please type into the chat pod your name and school. If there's a group of you, please add everyone's name and school. This is important data which helps help us keep track of uh, who's attending. If you're having trouble hearing, check that the speaker icon on the top menu bar is green. If you are still having trouble, click on meeting menu, then run the audio wizard. The mic icon should not be green. You can easily click on the icon to change it. I'll be leading today's presentation and Elizabeth Enevia and Corina will be in the chat pod. Please feel free to type into the chat pod at any time. A couple of housekeeping tips. This is a one-way session, so please ensure your microphone is muted. To save on bandwidth and make this Adobe Connect session more stable, I will just leave you with my video pause so that you can see I'm here, but you can't see me presenting. You can download our presentation at the end of today's session. We will also add a recording of the session to um, our website for anyone unable to attend. Before we commence our Adobe Connect session, I would like to acknowledge the traditional custodians of all the lands on which we are meeting today and pay my respect to elders past, present and future and extend my respects to any Aboriginal people who may be joining us today. I am delivering from the lands of the Darug people. We've been listening to your feedback and we have taken a completely new direction with this statewide Adobe Connect and for future Adobe Connect sessions too. Rather than providing you with a past format, which was an update on uh, our people and projects combined with a teach meet. Uh, we will now be presenting our short professional learning sessions. The topics are chosen by you. You can let us know what you'd like us to present by joining our Yama group, which is called Languages New South Wales 7 to 12. If you're not familiar with Yama, it's the department's social media platform and you can find it in the portal. We already have more than 320 language teachers interacting with us there. Make sure you join the right group, as there are lots of groups with similar names. We have included a how-to document, which you can download from the download pod in this Adobe Connect. You can also download this presentation at the end of today's session. So for now, sit back, relax and enjoy. At our face-to-face -face workshop last year, participants said they wanted more information on assessment tasks and you were very clear with your wish list. You wanted assessment tasks which focus on authentic communication, Hello. assess the new outcomes, especially the ones which can be a bit trickier to assess, and combine two or more micro skills. To make sure we all understand what is meant by authentic communication, authentic communication has purpose, context, and audience. Think of the last time you communicated before joining today's session. Maybe you sent your partner a text message to say you'd be home later than usual. The purpose was to let your partner know something. The context was you are attending PL and you will be later than usual. And the audience was your partner. Maybe write down those three words. Purpose, context, audience. Because they are critical in authentic communication and you will notice all your favorite tasks have these three elements. For today's presentation, we have chosen, in some cases, tweaked our favorite assessment ideas created by teachers across the state at our Languages 7 to 10 Programming Support Workshops from 2018 and 19. You never know, you just might recognize one of yours. The following examples have been matched to stage 5 outcomes. 
but you you can really can adapt any of these tasks to stage four if you like. To support your understanding of this presentation, we recommend you have your syllabus handy. We will be referring to the outcomes and if you're still learning the code, it might be good to have the table of outcomes open in front of you. It starts on or around pages 15, depending on your language. You can see what you're looking for on this slide. Wherever you see country or language in square brackets, like on this slide, replace it with a country and the language relevant to you. Let's look at our first one. You are applying for a student exchange program to the target country, let's say Japan. Part A, fill out the application form. Part B, you have been matched with your host. Role play the first phone or video call between yourself and them. This is where the table of outcomes will come in handy, if you're still learning your outcome codes. We have included outcomes which have been assessed on the slide. For scripted languages, the outcomes are 5U, which is Applied Pronunciation and Intonation Patterns, 6U, which is Demonstrates Understanding of Key Aspects of Writing Conventions, 7U, which is Applies features of grammatical structures in sentence patterns to convey information and ideas. And finally, AU, which is identifies variations in linguistic and structural features of text, particularly as the text type of a form is very different to the text type of a conversation. The outcomes on the right hand side would apply if you were to change the language from scripted to non scripted. And please let me know if I'm going too fast. Now over to you. Which communicating outcome or outcomes do you think this task is assessing? It's assessing two communicating outcomes. One C, which is using language to interact, in this case to exchange information, and two C, which is identifies main ideas in and obtains information from text. Now, why do we like this task? These are highly authentic products for the context. Part B allows students to explore what they would want to be able to say and ask, and for the teacher to help students learn suitable phrases for that context. A range of outcomes is being assessed and students are writing and speaking. Festival, planning your itinerary. You will be given real advertising material and information for a festival that takes place in the country. Use materials to plan out your itinerary and imagine text messages to your group of friends. In your text messages include where you are going and where to meet, how you will get there, in your text messages, negotiate what you will do at each time slot in the day, what time you will have your meal, and what you will bring to eat. Once again, we have listed the understanding outcomes on the, on the slide. Understanding of key aspects of writing conventions for scripted languages only. Applying features of grammatical structures and sentence patterns to convey information and ideas. Identifying variations in linguistic and structural features of text, and explaining and reflecting on the interrelationship between language, culture, and identity. Now, let's look at the communicating strength. What outcome or outcomes do you think this task is assessing? It's assessing 3C because students are evaluating and responding to specific information in a specific context. Why do we like it? We think students will be really motivated by this one because you are using a real event and authentic support material instead of a made up one. 
if it is an annual event, you should be able to find real social media snippets of people enjoying the festival in previous years. This is a much more interesting take on the topic of daily routine. How often do we realistically talk about our everyday routine, which is usually boring? We do talk, however, about what time to do things when we are planning a social event like this. This task assesses three C's. As students are taking the information they have read and use it in creating a text message conversation with friends. Please note. The fact that we are the ones providing the students with the stimulus material allows us to accurately check that they have used or interpreted the information correctly. Film Festival Read the reviews of all the films at the film festival. Text message your friend to discuss and decide which film you will go to watch. You can see the understanding outcomes on the slide, so I won't keep reading through them, as you can refer to them later once you've downloaded this presentation. Which communicating outcome do you think we are assessing? It's 3C. Just like in the previous one, the students are evaluating and responding to specific information. In this case, they are reading or watching film reviews and using that information to communicate with friends. Why do we like it? What's not to love about film? You can actually include watching a film in the language. What better way is there to hear such sustained communication in the target language other than flying the class to the country? This is a topic students are sure to love and the product is very authentic. This is how they communicate nowadays. It's also an opportunity to research the language of text messages in the target language and country. We can also find many authentic resources online for this one. Food Vlogger You are on a holiday. Create a vlog showcasing popular street food and eating etiquette there. Add subtitles to appeal to a wider audience. From now on, I won't go through the understanding outcomes each time, but you'll see them on the, on the slide. What communicating outcome do you think we are assessing? We are assessing 4C. Because students are experimenting with linguistic patterns and structures to compose a text. Why do we like it? Two simple words, food and travel. That's all that needs to be said. YouTube is, a, is way to make income nowadays and street food is experiencing a surge in popularity all around the globe. You will find a wealth of authentic videos on YouTube of people eating and talking about food from which you can extract real language to teach students how people speak today. This unit presents a good opportunity to embed learning across the curriculum content of work and uh, enterprise as well. You can switch languages around with this one too. If you want uh, this to be all about speaking, the students can present in the target language and subtitle in English. And then you can assess 5U. If you want to focus on writing skills, they can present in English and subtitle in the target language. And you can assess 6U in unscripted languages. As you can see, it's a very versatile task. The options are many. Travel agent. You have landed a job in a travel agency. This morning, when you came to work, there was a phone message from a new client. Listen to the details of what they are looking for in a holiday for their group and assemble an itinerary that meets their needs, interests and budget. Include types of terrain, seasons and climate, method of travel, accommodation and activity, advice on how to be polite in that country. What communicating outcome do you think we are assessing?
three things. Because students are evaluating and responding to information, opinions, ideas and texts. Using a range of formats for specific context, purposes and audiences. Why do we like it? This task presents the perfect opportunity for differentiation. Teachers can easily provide different stimulus texts that will appropriately challenge the different levels of learners. To target those with prior learning and background speakers, the client could provide more detailed requests using increasingly sophisticated language such as special interests, hobbies, for example, ecotourism or traveling with a course. Because the context pitches to um, pitches the task to be created in the language, it gives students the freedom of choosing anywhere in the world to research and present to their clients. Welcome to our home. You are going to host an exchange student. To help prepare them and make them feel welcome, prepare a video to show our guests where they will be staying. Include footage of and talk about the people, pets living in your house, each room, the exchange student's bedroom, and five rules that apply to different rooms of the house. What communicating outcome do you think we are assessing? This time, it's for C, because students are experimenting with linguistic patterns and structures to compose a text. Why do we like it? In order to choose which rules to include, the students should research daily home life in the target country and discuss what might be different for the exchange student in their home. Some common examples might be time to eat, wake up, sleep, etiquette at the table, chores, public private spaces, and so on. It provides the opportunity to deeply reflect on customs and practices in their own homes and to develop their understanding of the role that family culture and identity plays in our lives and how it shapes the way we view the world. And students can be given the choice of filming their own home or using creating common images from the internet. Love our town. A busload of students is coming to our town. What are the really interesting places they can see here and how can they get there without a car? Video tutorial to share with your law students. Encouraging them to visit three of your favourite places or activities. Explaining why you think they would like these places and or activities. And showing how to get there using public transport or on foot. What outcome do you think we are assessing? Once again, it's for C, composing text. Why do we like this one? This one is um, one of the absolute favorites. It engenders love of local community, fostering positive relationships between people and their place, while exploring the traditional topic um, of direction. Although tasks pitched at travel can seem out of reach to some students sometimes, this context is local, makes it inclusive. We often have students describe places, but this one is encouraging students to visit certain places. And so the use of persuasive language can be brought in, which is much more useful in authentic communication. An alternative context, purpose and audience could be your local council is running a competition to make a digital brochure promoting your town to tourists. Then you would not be assessing five years. However, remember that it would be six years if you teach scripted languages. Inquiry-based unit. Come out with me. 
Use the internet to find where your favourite band or sporting team is playing or where an exhibition is on. Plan your day to attend the event. Record your conversation in which you invite your friend to come with you. In your conversation, include why you like this band, team or exhibition, where you are going, how you will get there, in your conversation, negotiate, what you will wear, where to meet, and where and what you will eat. Which communicating outcome do you see this starts with assessing? This time it's 1C, using language to interact. Because in this case, you're making plans and negotiating. What do we like about this one? This is an interesting inquiry-based task where students can discuss their favourite bands or teams, etc. They can use the internet to find out where they are really playing in the target country. This research would also activate outcome 2C as they would need to understand key information from what they read. It will also activate 3C as they are taking the information they have read and use it in creating a text, the conversation with a friend. Please note, we aren't assessing 3C because to do so, teachers would need to have knowledge of the content in the text students read and checking if students have accurately used that information. Yes, teachers could request students include the URLs of the source materials they access to get the information. But the time needed to read all the material to check students have used the information correctly would not be practical. If teachers wish to assess 3C to make the task more manageable and valid, teachers would need to provide the source text to the students to be sure of the information students will need to demonstrate understanding. Raising our guide dog puppy. This one is my personal favourite. A faculty is, is raising a puppy who will become a guide dog. We want to raise as much money as we can for the course. To promote what we are doing to a wider audience, let's collaborate on a bilingual web page. Submit at least three photos to our website. Caption the photos to describe our puppy's favourite activity and character. Explain what we are training the puppy to do to support the new owner and encourage people to donate. Which communicating outcome is this assessing? It's for C, composing text. Why do we like it? What do we like about it? That the faculty is actually raising a guide dog. Talk about real life stimulus and motivation for students. Not to mention all the learning across the curriculum content that can be drawn into this unit. Civic and citizenship, difference and diversity, ethical understanding, information and communication technology capability, and personal and social capability. Welcome to our school. Students will be visiting our school and they are very excited to experience what school life is like in Australia. But they are nervous because they don't know what to expect. They have sent an email describing their school day and with many questions about ours. Summarize the key points of their school day to present at our school assembly. Create a multimedia welcome package to send to our visitors, addressing all of their questions in the email. The email should um, should include a bilingual map of the school, a list of school rules and emergency procedures, video footage and narration of what students do at break time, welcome messages from students and staff subtitled in the language.
if by no task is that definition to. Which is identifying and interpreting information in a range of texts. And 3C, which is evaluating and responding to information, opinions and ideas in text, using a range of formats for specific context, purposes and audiences. Why do we like this one? Because if you really host students from other countries, how practical is this task? Pro products from this task could be used on your school's website, on social media accounts to promote the school, show how welcoming it is, and make languages visible. This task goes deeper than learning names of subjects and into true purposeful language learning. We can explore differences that might make others feel nervous or uncomfortable, and how to make people feel welcome and valued. Thank you so much for joining us today, and we do hope you have enjoyed the session.